as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we made our way up Wellspring Island, and we are at what I can only imagine is the entrance to the Water Temple. We saw Sidon here before, we told him we were ready to go, he swam up, so I think we're in a pretty good spot. I probably want to heal up just a little bit if we have any food. I mean, we don't really have too much right now. I mean, we could add some different stats, we could add, we could add stealth and stuff. Hmm. Maybe I'll uh, do that for now. Extra, extra stealth. If anybody tries to sneak up on us or anything. And let's swim up the waterfall. So will the water temple be ready and waiting up here? I sure hope so. We got a lot to swim up though. Almost there. There we go. Ooh, this is looking cool no matter what it is. Where did Sidon go? The water temple, the great wellspring of Hyrule. Whoa, and that's all the gunk flying all over the place. Let's go check it out. And there's Sidon too. This place looks pretty busy. Like there's gonna be a lot to do here for sure. All right, we'll rush over a little bit. You okay, buddy? How magnificent to think that such a structure was floating in the sky above our own Zoro's domain. Link, look. That is surely the source of the sludge. I'm certain of it. We must do something about it. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> that is it! Link, you see it, do you not? If we could only make use of that water. So I guess the water is suppressing the sludge in a way? Sidon of the Zora has been updated. After climbing the waterfall and entering the ruins, you found the source of the sludge plaguing the Zora. Sidon suggested that it may be possible to wash away the foul substance using the water in the enormous water vessels. Definitely give it a try then. The water. Link, I wonder if there is some way to use it to our advantage? I think if we go over there, we can at least activate this to see what we can do. So, yep, just do this right here. And... Something will surely happen. I'm guessing we'll have to sort of activate the other hoses, sort of, to fully get rid of this sludge. Uh-oh, wait a minute, the water stops. Oh, it was filling up a little pot. Well, that's good. Oh. Oh, but it's picking back up again. It seems it did not work. But you saw it too, did you not? Using that mechanism did have an effect. There simply was not enough water. Oh. Hmm, mm, that sound again. Cherished kin. This is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Use your power to turn on the four faucets, and you can collect water here. Ooh, okay. Heed my words. <gasps> it happened yet again. Only this time, I heard the voice loud and clear. The four faucets, I see. If we turn those on, we can acquire more water for the water vessels. <gasps> right, let's get to work, Link, together. With our powers combined, there's nothing in this world that can stop us. I agree. So we have an update on our quest. You poured water from the vessels on the sludge, but it was inadequate to, cl to cleanse the area. It seems even more water is needed. A mysterious voice indicated locations that may be of assistance. Work with Sidon to open all of the faucets. All right, so we have Sidon right here, and if we just sort of move around with him, we can activate the shield and everything, which is really cool. But I guess we'll be riding, oh, hey. We got these guys too. Let's get rid of one of them right there. The big choo-choos. Uh-oh, there we go, gotcha. There might be more choo-choos rolling around, but I think we just need to ride these from time to time. I mean, this one obviously isn't really going much of a place. Can we grab them at all? We can, but they just sort of stay in place no matter what. Okay, hmm. So of, of course, as per usual with a uh, area like this, we should probably just run around first, get a good idea of what, what is going on. Also, I noticed that we can actually wash away the sludge with Sidon. 
I don't know if we really need to do that too much around here, but good to know. Cause there's another one right over here, you can see it, but it just sort of stays still. Maybe Sidon can do something with that? Is that what I'm missing here? Here. Ooh. No. <laughs> Interesting. Um. Here, dash out of it if I can. Or not. There we go. I can't seem to hit them any direction. Can I just at least get my arrow back? There we go. <laughs> All right, get out of there. Weird. Hmm. Because you can see another thing here. Okay, I can maybe just climb over. Maybe I'm overcomplicating this. I do see down here there's a treasure chest. Maybe I should just go try for that right now. This is Water Temple B1. Oh, I'm under the lily pad. Not what I wanted. Here, just climb on top of it. Switch to this. Just barely able to grab it. I'll put it right there. So what do we get inside of this? Ooh, a sapphire, glad to get that. And I don't think we need to hop down from here, but this is B1, I believe they said. Could we use a send on anything around here? That looks a little too high up. But I guess back over this way, we definitely could. Help me out with your tool in. Uh, yep, right there, perfect. So we're back up to where we were going to, because with this extra jump height, we can get to quite a lot. A lot more than you'd think. But this is our third temple in total now. We've done the wind temple and the fire temple. This is the water temple and there's just a lot going on. Uh oh, we got some bad guys. Are they new though? That's a soldier construct three. So no, oh, hi Sidon. Fancy jump, I like it. Ooh, hit you with something like that. There we go, gotta watch out because they're bouncing back. Ow, that really hurt. Yo, let's have this, this will upper damage a little bit. And then, Try to get you a little bit there. Be careful, Sidon. Ow, you're kidding me, no! <laughs> Yikes, I didn't think they would jump up so close like that. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I'll learn my lesson from that one. There we go. Attack you first, and then while you're knocked out, I should be able to just get a good couple swipes on you. That was really nice. If I can steal your weapon, I can't quite. Okay, that'll just finish you off with what I got. And then where are you at? Oh, be quick with this, Oh, Okay, I think Tulin got gotcha. you. Oh, they're drowning, they're drowning. That's really good for us. So we'll take all of that. We'll have to grab that weapon later because you know, the weapons are getting, whoa, really high in damage. So I just trying to make the most of that fact. Okay, okay, ready for the super slam? Gotcha. One more shot should do the trick. There it is. And then if I can before that falls, no way. Ah, oh, darn. Wait, I might be able to grab it. I don't know where it went. I can't really see it from here. Oh well, it's fine. We don't need to get every single thing. Anyways, wonder what else we can find around here. First, just some little stuff to splash around with, but getting rid of those enemies was a good idea for sure, but might not be all we need to do around here. We'll jump up like this. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. What's with this ball? It'll definitely have some buoyancy, so maybe we can get it to get us somewhere. Hmm. I'm also just trying to get rid of the sludge wherever I can just in case. You know, there's something cool underneath. It's like right here. Didn't get too much from that one. Okay, so if there's no treasure chest around here, I guess we'll just take this ball and leave. Don't quite know where we would bring it. What would we do with it? So clearly not anything above us here. But you can just go like this and then have it launch. Oh no, this is not one of those. Interesting. It really won't go that far. Is there anything down there? There's not, so I really don't know what to do with this ball. I'll leave it here for now. We'll get Sidon to help us out a little bit. Could I, I mean, I can push it with that, but I can't really, okay. Hmm. Well, I'll save it, save it here, because I just don't see what I can use it for. It's not worth getting too carried away. I do want to get to the top of this platform, and I think the best way to do that would just be to ascend from here, if possible. Uh. I don't think that's possible. Yep, okay, never mind. Oh, what's down this way? Whoa! Giant like wall of fire. And there's some extra sludge down there. This is Water Temple B1. Uh, where'd Sidon go? Cause I don't think I'll be able to just get through this very easily on my own. This might be more of an exit than it is an entrance, but I wanna try running through 
Whoa, with that, that was so cool. Awesome. And now I can make my way out much easier. Uh, if I were to stand on this, what does this do? Nothing because Link is not heavy enough. Maybe I could press the button down. No. Well, this will, you know, block the fire, not anything else. So I'll leave that there. Oh, I can put a ball there, I guess. I haven't really seen one. A couple of platforms over this way, and there it is. Okay. This feels pretty doable. If I were to get over here, I could... Oh, I can't quite grab that from here, actually. Hmm. Oh, is there a ch there's a chest on that one. Gotcha. Hold on. There's gotta be a better way to do this. I think if we were to go up through here. Is that close enough to reach this thing? Probably not. Yeah, not quite. But we can at the least grab one of these. This one. Bring it all the way over. And that should be close enough. It's not. Really? That seems close enough, right? I guess we could just get a little bit closer by grabbing this and then turning around with it and just sort of doing the same thing until we get closer and closer. That's usually the strategy with these. That's absolutely, yeah, gotta be close enough. Then I could just bring this next to me really fast. I'll attach it just to be safe. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Uh, no! <laughs> get me out of here. Oh, darn. I made all the mistakes. Here, let's just get this like this. And then I will just detach the chest. That was a bad idea after all. What's inside of here then? A large O9. I mean, it's something. I'll take it. I know this is using up our battery, but. I think it's fine. What happens when the battery runs out? Will these just fall? I wanna think so, but maybe. Oh, they do all fall. Gotcha. I mean, maybe that's not too big of a deal. We'll let our battery restore. I'll attach this here. Cause even without the battery, they still work as decent platforms. Of course, having them as platforms that actually float is much more preferred. And then I'll get this one right about here. But the hard part is gonna be getting it up that way, which is where we can use the battery again. So I will just attach that to this one. Something about there. Do this. Oh wait, yeah, it's not activated yet. Let me hit it. There we go. Get this done. Bring it up. That seems good to me. And I guess I might go through the ball. Okay, a little awkward, but if it works, it works, right? It almost works. I think I just need to climb up this way. Just a little bits out of time, right? It was probably an easier answer to all this, but if it works for me, I'm happy. Oh, but it won't stay there. Okay, well here's the next thing we gotta do then. We need to get over this way. Grab this, let it stay on there, okay. Guess it doesn't really matter too much how we attach it. If this works, then that's good enough. And then we just sort of slot it in like this. Hard to tell from this angle, but we got it. Is that gonna open the door? It will, whoa, very cool. So let's move quick with this before that lets it go. And what do we do here? Uh, That maybe? Oh, you know what? Maybe this is where I use Sidon. Where's Sidon at? Is he even in here? Sidon. Where'd you go? I actually don't know where he went. That, okay, that's not on. <laughs> uh, I'm a little confused on where Sidon went. I, I swear I saw him. Oh, there you are. All right, thank you, buddy. Let's run quick now. Get back over here and activate this much better. So that's like a little water wheel kind of thing. And that's gonna activate the first one. All right, not too bad. Yes. You got one flowing. This is great. Just three to go. Sounds like a plan. I don't see anything more to do around here, so I think we're good to go back up. And where will we end up? Yeah, just right here. Which is to be expected. Oh, is there an enemy here? Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. 
Oh, they have a nice shield though. So let's see if we can't combo them a little bit. Got the whole squad here to help out. Ooh, almost, the Choo Choo wants to beat me up as well. Ow, that wasn't very nice. But somebody got you. Pick up all the goodies from that. That's the Soldier Reaper, which I guess is better than this right now, so uh, I just wanna give this a toss at somebody. Like you, ah, I threw it way too far, darn. So I'll pick up this Soldier Reaper one, which is a 15 damage. And my shield right now is at 24. Apparently this is better, because it's a strong zone eight shield. Okay, then I guess I might wanna drop the shield in the mind's eye. Just because it's a cool shield, but not as damaging. We'll run over to you. And yeah, I don't wanna go with like my crazy damaging stuff right now if I can keep it for later. So I'm sure I'll need it for some other purpose. And boom, gotcha. I don't really need the bow at the moment. Even though once again, it's probably worth dropping weaker stuff for it. There you go. Would that work? Did I, did I drop the right one? I think I did. Uh, Cool. So we'll grab all that and keep going. There's more enemies around, but I'm choosing to ignore them for a little so we can figure out what we're doing next. Because there's not really any way to fall off over this way in the same way there was to the left. Which still just has me really confused. Oh, what is this doing here? Strong Zonite Spear, a tough spear used by the Zonite. It is highly durable. It resonates with the attached Zonite device to increase its attack power. Interesting that that was just sitting here, but I do have a picture of it. But once again, I can't just do this. Oh, okay, well, I guess I am going with you. So let's deal with you. One more shot should do the trick. Oh, I jumped right over you because of course I did. Come on. Oh, you're kidding me. That did so much damage too. Come on, Link, run, run. Okay, they got you. I need food now. I guess I can eat this again. I died the last time I tried to have it, so. Yeah, but I'm not really seeing too much over here, so maybe I could just try to find a way up there. I can sort of make these jumps. So maybe this is what I'm supposed to do is get up this way. It's at least one way to get around. I feel like the other temples had a clearer way to travel than this one does, but hey, I'm, I'm fine with finding alternative methods, even if maybe I'm just getting something confused. So I have a picture of that fire like I do see in here. I don't know where Sidon went, but uh, next time we run into him, Really use his health to get rid of that. I guess I could just use the splash fruit, save some time waiting around for him. Got it, and open this up. Inside we have five arrows. We'll gladly take that. Okay, Sidon, help me out here because uh, this guy's really trying to get us. I think what I want to do. Oh, that's ignore. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll just do this. I was gonna try to hit him with the splash. Didn't really need to. He's already defeated. Cool. I will do something like that, get rid of all this stuff. This fire like dropped a lot of goodies. Yep. And we'll definitely be able to use Ascend to get through here. Another strong Zonite shield. I mean, I guess this time, I, mean, I have this comboed stuff, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I wanna take it just in case, like, you know, this counts for completion is opening all the chests or something. Cause you never know. Uh, so I'll just drop this Bokoblin arm shield. And I wanted to use you to get rid of this one. Right over here, just in case there's anything under it. There's not. Okay, we send upward then. And here we are. So if we take a look at the map, we can see that there's one over there. I don't know if that's it. You'd think it would be, but it wouldn't be that hard to get over to that. So let's see what's on this side. We've got more choo-choos, which I can get rid of quite quickly. And, ooh, more enemies too. Oh, they're, oh, they're attacking you, huh? Oh, you're gonna fall right in the water. That's an easy takedown for me. Ooh, we'll get a bunch of ice fruit for that as well. Feeling pretty good. I might wanna just fly over this way really fast and take you out. Probably the same way, if we can just knock you into the water. 
And I did the also, yeah, wanna take a look if there's any chests around, and there definitely is right down this way, I think I saw one, right? Oh, right over there. It's really hidden around that corner. That's neat. Whenever there's a body of water like this, I just need to take a quick look and we'll get an opal for this one. I to grab all that. And then back over here, is there another enemy? Is the music still playing like there is? Is it just the choo-choo over there? I think it's got, fine guys. Does this count as a different choo-choo by the way? No, it doesn't, okay. It's just such a big one. You need to save my arrows a bit. There's a weapon in the water there from the one enemy we knocked off, but nothing I really need too much. Okay, taking a look around. I will get up over there soon, but I definitely don't need to right now. Okay, so yeah, I guess whatever is up there, it's spinning like crazy. That might be our next goal. And what about this whole platform? Like this looks movable, but it's not. I'm a bit confused on how exactly we're doing things here. Cause that thing is spinning so, so fast. Uh, but I'll get this here for now. And then there was another one over here. If I could just get this over this way. And I might be going about this all wrong, but I feel like I just need to get up there and experiment, right? These platforms are running out of time though. I'm going to probably just need to use a charge. If I could do that. And then maybe I might just attach this here. And then quickly before we run out of time with this, let me just take, use, use, just so that I have more time. I have a ton of them, so it's not really that big of a deal. If I needed more, I could just go beat up more bad guys. Is that gonna work? Yes, it is. Exit from here, do the same thing again, but a little bit over. And I don't know why this thing is spinning so fast or how to get it to stop, because I can't just do that. My idea, was just to get something and jam it in there. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work very well. It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> so that's like sort of the extent of my ideas on you know like why this is spinning so fast, how to get it to stop. Let me use a few more of these just for some extra charge. Because where did Sidon go? Sidon always disappears right when I need him. Uh, seriously, where did he go? Oh, wait, what is this about? If these look so odd, as if I can plug them in, but I can't really move it. And I can't recall it either. Oh, there you are. Okay, so, gonna use you really quickly just to do that. Get up here. Exit. Get up to this one. Do I still have the water ability, though? Or did that fade? It did, okay. That's not good. I'm really confused on what I do here. Huh. I mean, clearly it's something with that. I just don't understand what. Maybe there's something even under that I should be worried about. Well, I can give it a try, but I might end up regretting it because there's no nothing to stand under here. That's the issue, is that without something to stand under, I'm just gonna fall. Uh-oh, speaking of falling, I really am. Uh oh, yeah, this is not gonna work super good. I think I might just have to find my way back some other way then. Jeez, this is rough so far. Really hard to sort of figure out what I'm doing with some spots. Oh, okay, so I was able to do something there. I guess it just makes it so I can use uh, the waterfall to get up. Gotcha. Interesting to have that at the least. Didn't really see that before. I was too sort of confused with the bubbles. Some of them just don't seem to do much, but I'm still clearly missing something with this. I don't know what it is. Oh, wait a minute. I do see this one now flying over this way. What could this do though? I don't know. 
if I were just to get it over there like that, because that's what this does, it produces bubbles. And would these bubbles be able to get rid of the slime? I don't know. I don't know if this would do much. I don't know if it could reach up there. It doesn't seem like it can. It's very weird. Because it looks like there is slime up there, but regardless, I can't like freeze that or slow it down. I don't know, it's so uncertain. Okay, I don't know if this is just, did that work? Whoa, it sorta worked. I got the throw, but that's all I got. I just threw my weapon. Okay, hold on. Is that it? Was that all I was supposed to, I guess that's all, okay. So confusing, but I guess, you know, that is one way to slow things down. If it works, it works. If I could just turn all these off now, that'd be great. Yeah, I threw my weapon. I'll find another one. Let me just switch to something else for now. Uh, the Captain 2 Reaper seems like a good idea to me. Okay, uh, and I wanna turn that one off too, if I can. You know, it might be smarter to just shoot it at this rate. Oh my gosh, give me my arrow back and keep it moving. So where did Sidon go? Sidon's over here. I just need your attention. There we go, and activate another one. That one took a bit of work, but we figured it out in the end. Okay, so with that done, that is another fountain sort of activated, whatever this faucet, so we have well two done. more to go. Now you just need to open the remaining two. We can definitely do that, can't we, buddy? So, with that figured out, I will run over here, because this is our next thing. Now, I'm sure there was some kind of way I'm supposed to get across, but why would I do it that way when I could just do this, you know? So this looks pretty simple. It looks like I would just use Sidon to activate this, but then what would happen after that, I guess is the question. I guess we'll find out, because I will hit this. It doesn't move it much, because it's actually, now that I'm looking at it, not what we're supposed to do. I guess I could activate this and make it move? Maybe not? I wanted to grab it by its edge, but it doesn't really work that way. Huh. How can I grab this? Like, any way I try to move it, isn't really doing much, but, oh, what I can do, didn't even see this. What we wanna do then, I mean, I guess attach it like this, and that should move it enough by getting another one over here, and I want it up that way. Not like that, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Something like, okay, just like this. Good enough that it should push it forward the thing is, is this the right direction? It looks like it is, because it's powering something up way over here. So I guess we need some kind of thing to connect it. What things are around here? Would this count? Would this work? Whoa, yeah, it does. It's very conductive. Okay, that did something. It's gonna open up the door, so we need to run over there quick before that bubble bursts. All right, Sidon, I hope you're around. I hope you're ready. I don't see you at the moment, but Maybe I could just throw one at the fruit. Would that work? It doesn't. Okay, Sidon, where are you? Oh, wait, wait, there you are. Okay, running over, running over, and boom, got it. There's another one done in quick succession from the previous. Awesome. I mean, this one was a little bit slow going at first. Just one more, Link. But now it's actually proceeding to be one of the fastest temples yet. It looks like the next one is going to be way over here, and it is gonna be on one F. So I think for right now I jump, glide, and use tool in the pushes forward. And I just try to get to that side. Were we not over there before? We weren't, I remember now. So if I could just, whoa, wait about here, and start gliding over, and as soon as tool can push us over again, much better. Got it. So once again, I think we need to look around in the water, just around everywhere to see if there's anything we can get. I'm not really too worried about the... Whoa, let's deal with this. Not too worried about the, the jelly. But I probably just wanna get up that waterfall then, for now, just to get a good look at everything. Maybe be able to see what I'm trying to get up to. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That ball I saw before, way over there. It needs to go this way. So, I think I know what I can do here. 
I can use these things. So if I just go down here like this, I can grab this one. Just sort of stack all these together for the time being. Attach, and then push it as far out as I can, like that. Then, yep, bring it all over. So right now they're all activated. I don't know what's up with that over there, by the way, uh, like the, the wall that goes up and down. This should be good enough. I will bring them down and sort of just like deactivate them for a bit, I think, if I can reach them. Oh, I really hope I can reach them. I need to be careful not to walk off the edge. Oh no, I can't reach them. No, I should have lowered it even more. That actually really stinks. If I can't get them from here, that was the whole point. Um, Maybe if I actually go over here, get the ball and stand on top of them. At this point, I sort of have to hustle because I'm running out of energy and they're gonna fall off the, the ledge. I do not want that. So just get this like right there. Don't roll, don't roll. Maybe I can stand on top of it. I sort of can. Yo, come on, Link. I don't have much time here. Oh, you are kidding me right now. Uh, yes, please, that. I can't see it from here. Yes, please, go back up here. Oh my goodness, everything is falling apart right now. All because I just wanted to stand on this thing. Here, grab it, bring it right here. No, they're gone! Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, just keep it here for now, and then I gotta get back up there. The problem is, I don't really know an easy way to get up there besides going all the way up there and around, so. then I guess this is what I gotta do now. Huh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, unless I could just get up this thing and fly over, that might be a better idea. Jeez, what a pain so far. The puzzles to this one are weird because I feel like I'm brute forcing every single one. Why is it so slippery? Okay, I thought those platforms would like respawn or something, but so far it seems like they haven't. So I guess we will just, oh, you know what? I'm just now noticing this. I bet you then if we could just do that. I don't know if this would work, would it? If that produces a bubble? Oh, it will, it will, wait, take me with you. Okay, well that's going up there. That's perfect then. If I just wait for my own on the next ride, that'd be great. It'll spill one out eventually. There we go, I made everything too complicated. I was gonna bring it up one platform at a time. I really was brute forcing it. I don't even know if that counts as brute forcing it, I was just making it too complicated. The thing I'm worried about though is none of those things respond. So now, if I want to, Okay, that's gonna fall down here. But um, now if I wanna get this into the socket, I really don't know how I would do that. So I just don't see much around. I mean, I could go with some crazy gizmo or something. I'm trying to see. Uh, Cause what if I just like added a rocket? This might not work, by the way, uh, but I, I sort of wanna try it. Where did it go? Over there. What if I just tried to rocket it downwards? Into the socket. Would this work? There's no way this would work. Whoa, it worked! <laughs> that is so funny. But the water level didn't lower. Okay, what do I do about that then? I can't believe that worked. Is it something to do with this? Oh, it did for a second. Yeah, it drains it. So if I, okay, I see what I do. <laughs> I found a really silly way to do that, but, um, so like this is keeping the door open and everything, right? So what do I do now is it's gonna lower, the water's gonna come back up, but I just rewind it. It'll stay up there for a good while. So, Sidon, um, yeah, help me out here with that. I go over here and I just go boom, and boom, that's the last one. Awesome. So what happens now with all the water here that might be enough to wash away all this sludge once and for all? Okay, so to do that, I guess we have to run all the way back over there. 
and uh, just activate that thing again like we did right at the beginning. Right here. Still have all the floaty controls and stuff, so takes me a minute to actually line everything up. There we go. And boom, here we go. That was definitely one of the quicker temples so far. So here's hoping that's enough water. I can only imagine that it is. It's a huge waterfall downpouring onto the sludge. Look, the sludge dissolved. The domain is surely safe now. Huh? Uh-oh. What is that? Not good. Uh-oh. Whoa! Who are you? Sort of cute. Okay, maybe not. Scourge of the Water Temple. Muck to rock. Okay, this one's weird. creature must be responsible. Whoa! What is that? Giant sludge shark? That is so cool! Get ready. Let's go. What do we do, buddy? I don't know. Ah! The bug to rock! Can I take a quick picture of them? Here we go. Did that count? I think it did. No, I don't want a picture of the tool and stuff. I, that's cool and everything, tool and good for you. There we go. That's gotta count. That's an awesome picture to you. There it is, the muck to rock. You're not alone in this Thank you. Thank you, Sidon. Um, but yeah, there is an update. When you wash away the sludge with the water vessels, a monster suddenly emerged from the muck. This must be the culprit behind the sludge. It's time to work with Sidon to finish this. Okay, uh, so let's team up with Sidon here. Whoa, I gotta jump over that. I don't think that worked. I mean, at least it blocked me, protecting me, which is great, but maybe I just run up to it. Be careful. Uh, did that work? No, I missed. Okay, we need to jump over this like that. Okay, that didn't work. Run, run, run. I need to get closer to you. There we go. Here's our chance then. Just slice away at the muck to rock. I need to switch to a higher weapon, higher damage weapon. Ooh, let's try the Flux Core 2 Smasher. Where do you think you're going? I missed you. Wait, wait, wait. Boom. Really beat up on him now. Start spinning on him like crazy. That was good. Oh, you're gonna go flying too. Just a little bit more. Okay, that's all we can do there, but maybe we can team up with Sidon again. Here it comes, here it comes, ready, and... Boom! Ah, oh, didn't quite reach. You gotta be kidding me. Oh no. Ah! Watch out, everyone! Okay, we're almost ready, almost ready. Here it is! Boom! That got him good. So here's our chance again. We gotta keep slicing on you. I feel like I need something faster. Let's just do the Captain Two Spirit. Oh, where do you think you're running to? I'm going on you. We almost have you like halfway down with everybody beating you up too. Oh, that was really good. What's gonna happen now? Uh. Oh no, it's just getting started. Such a mess. Oh, it's a lot harder to get around now. Let's try to use the splash fruit to clean this up a little bit. And then as soon as that guy gets closer, right about, whoa, here? Ah, they're gone, they're gone. Oh, that hit me so good. I was able to hit them though, so as soon as we eat up this food, I might just do this one. I don't really need the stamina much, but what we do need to do is get back out into the fight. Where did you go? Oh no, the sludge swimming. Okay, so I guess we should really get rid of this stuff as soon as possible then. Sidon, help me out with that. That was, oh, I see. So the larger the weapon, the bigger the splash. I'm trying to. Oh, just while Sidon Seth is restoring. Okay, Sidon, 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 come here. Oh no, not again. I did clear out more of it, but there's just so much of it everywhere. Okay, yeah, that's not enough. I do need to jump over this if I can. The jumps really weren't high enough. Okay. I'm doing what I can, but it's just really challenging. 
Where does Saigon go? You always are off somewhere I, I really don't need you to be. Okay, here we go, this is our chance again. Oh, come on, come on. I gotta get you. That wasn't so bad, but then you just run away. Man, that is tough. Not you. <laughs> okay, come on. That clears away a good chunk of it, but while that's happening, he's making so much more. Oh no. I don't know. There's gotta be more I can do than just like one little splash with Sidon every once in a while. It doesn't feel like it's enough. Okay, okay, ow. No, I'm not okay, this is too much. Sidon, I need you to restore faster. I mean, it feels like some of the sludge is starting to clear out now, so maybe I just gotta keep at it. I just only have so much of this stuff to go around. I'm gonna jump over. No way, I was clear over that. Get out of here. I don't like how this works so far. It's just super difficult to get Sidon to actually cover up enough water that we would need to. I think this is where my best situation is to use a little bit of different kind of firepower. Let's try the hydrant. Um, I'm gonna activate this. Oh no, come on, I'm a little busy. All right, uh, here, what can I do to just get some food back in me? Cause I really am hurting here. I just need full health as much as possible. I need to activate this. And I know it's not enough to like, uh, do everything, but it should. Here, get over that, please. Oh, was that enough to knock him out of it? It wasn't, it wasn't, but now I can get over here. Focus in on him as soon as we can. He's gonna pop up somewhere like this. Oh, that was a good, good hit for sure, but we really need to hit him here before we can get to some of that sludge. I know, I know. Okay, so I need to actually hit this and then turn it around because without getting rid of this sludge, I feel like this whole thing is just gonna be so complicated. So just try to get rid of as much of it as I can. Because what else do I do here? You know, eventually, oh, did we hit him again with that? Oh, that's really good. I don't know that. I feel like I'm still missing something critical here because even if I clear all of this out, he just makes more at such a high rate. Okay, wait a minute, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, huh? So I got him running away here. Where do you think you're going? Uh, you're not going over here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. He's so desperate to get to it. Come on, come on. I need to knock him over. Everybody fight him. Just smack him with everything you got and do it quick. That was good, that was so good. Okay, he's running over again. This is where we just got a super duper hustle and then boom, that wasn't enough. That's okay. It seems like the fire hydrant did knock him out of that mode though. Which if that's the case, this is quite the powerful tool then. Oh no. Uh, oh, I blocked it. I blocked it, this is so good. Okay, you get back here. Time for a bath. Yeah, you better run from it. There we go, it's working, it's working. Sort of. At the least, it just, it slowly chips away at you. Okay, ready? No, you don't. Where are you jumping to? Way over there? Okay, now I don't know where you are. Over here. <laughs> no, come on, get back here. They're able to jump so far from it. Ah, oh, this is a total mess. Look at how much it can make in such a short time. Guys, help. Gotcha, okay, switching weapons, just to something that can attack them a little bit faster. If everybody chips in, we might be able to get you on this one. Come on, keep going, keep going, don't stop. Wait, wait. Ah, oh, I can't, I was gonna switch out the bow, but the controls were just too slow for me. Hold on. Let's do this. Do the same thing as before. Uh, you're gonna be right over there. You better swim away. And then I'm just gonna water you down as much as possible. It wasn't enough though. Actually it was. Come on, as soon as you pop out. Come on. Right there, no. <laughs> Didn't quite work. I know you're in there, right? Come on, Sidon. Where did they go? Okay, I don't wanna try to force it too much, do I? Ah, a little frustrating. Here we go, here we go. Boom, we got gotcha! you. that was it. <laughs> what a weird fight. You're finally dealt with. Can't take any more, right? Oh, all dried up. 
gross. Whoa. And dramatic. But we did it, we defeated the boss in this temple. With it, all of the sludge is finally disappearing. And the water returns to normal. And we get a heart piece for our troubles. That's great, I'm really relieved. Ooh, looking as good as new. So we know what we gotta do. This is our third time doing it. We gotta grab this heart piece, but first, we got the Sidon of the Zora updated. You combined forces with Sidon to defeat the monster producing the sludge. What remained of the substance dispersed, taking the threat to the Zora along with it. Sidon was left gazing at the strange stone that appeared when the sludge vanished. Okay, so we'll go talk to Sidon in a moment, but first, I need to get myself a nice healthy heart container. The more of these, the better. I've been struggling. Okay, let's go and talk to our buddy nun, right up here. Oh, here we go. Sidon, my cherished kin. That voice again. You're the one we've been hearing this whole time. Indeed. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a Zora warrior and a sage who, like you, could direct the flow of water. You are the pride of the Zora, your fluid, graceful movements as you fight. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You bested the monster that sullied our domain, but it was a servant of a greater evil, the Demon King. His true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining the stone that you just found, my secret stone. That stone that you are wearing? Yes. And it is important you know more about the stone and the Demon King. So listen closely to what I have to say. It concerns the imprisoning war and the destiny of our people. Though we Zora live long lives, this all happened in a time ancient even to us. The Kingdom of Hyrule was still in its infancy. A great evil. The Demon King appeared. He invaded Hyrule and sought to cut the new kingdom's time short. But Raru, the first King of Hyrule, brought me and five other warriors together to oppose him. To fight the Demon King, Raru entrusted us with secret stones. Treasured artifacts that amplify the power of those who carry them. As the Sage of Water, I bore a secret stone and fought alongside my fellow sages in battle. However, the Demon King's power was overwhelming. Even my strongest defenses could not stop his ferocious attacks. In the end, our leader realized it would not be possible to defeat the Demon King outright. He chose to end the battle by sealing the Demon King away, sacrificing himself in the process. So that was the imprisoning war. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and the destiny of the Zora was made crystal clear. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. 
When that happens, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. We must help. Lend him your power. He will need the Zora's control over water. The course of the Zora's future was clear. It would be our honor to aid in defeating the Demon King. I swear to you that when the great evil returns, the Zora Sage of Water will awaken once more. The Zora people and their sage will fight alongside your swordsman. That is everything there is to share of the imprisoning war and of the destiny of the Zora. Zora's domain is once again safe thanks to you. However, the Demon King continues to threaten all of Hyrule. Sidon, my cherished kin, you must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time. Fight alongside the Swordsman, Link. So here we go, we get another friend joining us. It's my destiny to fight by your side. I came here so that I could save Sora's domain. But it looks like all of Hyrule will need my help. I'll do all I can, just as my ancestor did. I will accept this secret stone. I'm glad to hear it. So our best friend is joining us. Wouldn't want anything less. I am the Sage of Water. Behold, this is my new power. Whoa. Your hand. I, Sidon, the Sage of Water, swear that I will fight by your side. Please accept this. It is proof of my vow. Happily accepted. Whoa. This never gets old. With each person that we do it with, it is so interesting. The power of a vow from a great friend. Another ring? Two more to go. Partnered up again! Yes! All right, let's head back home. So friends are never too far. Great to hear. So we're heading back to Zora's Domain now. That was quite the temple. I think the boss fight was the hardest part about that for sure, but I'm glad we got through it. That means there's only, as far as I know, one more temple remaining with the, uh, the Gerudo. Oh no. Is the king okay? With the sludge fading, maybe he'll recover. It seems like it. Uh, as good as new. Oh. Zoro's Domain is definitely looking nice and fresh too. Now everybody can go back to taking a swim. Oh wow, really taking the shape it had back in Breath of the Wild for sure. 
Link, welcome back. Oh. Link, have you seen? The sludge has vanished without a trace. <laughs> Link, thanks to your courage, the inhabitants of Zoro's domain are safe once again. No words could express the depths of my gratitude. Thank you, hero. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. As for you, Sidon, though Link certainly played a key role, your own efforts to save the domain were nothing short of magnificent. I have always believed in you, Sidon. Now, you have unequivocally proven your worthiness to bear the crown. That is why I shall joyously take this opportunity to pass the throne to you. No way! Father, this is so sudden. No, it only seems that way. In truth, it has been heavy on my mind for some time. Sidon, my son, it is time to ascend the throne as the new king. Take Yona's hand, and as one, lead Zoro's domain to a brighter tomorrow. Me? The king? Thank you, father. I will not let you down. I swear it. <laughs> that is the spirit, my boy. <laughs> now, accept your place upon the throne. The finest swordsman in all of Hyrule shall bear witness to this momentous occasion. That's amazing. Congrats, Sidon, becoming the, the king of Zora's domain. Whoa. Everybody's gotten together. Silence, everyone. I hereby inherit this crown from my father, the exalted Dorfin. From this moment on, I shall be the king of the Zora. <laughs> At the same precious moment, I ask that you also open your hearts to your new queen, my beloved Yona. Aww. Hooray! This is fantastic. Sure. The sludge threatens us no more. We are once again free to swim through crystal waters beneath azure skies without fear. We could not have achieved this without our dear King Sidon, our heroic Sir Link, and all of us who called the Domain home. I am so proud and so very grateful to count myself among the Zora of the Domain. However, that does not mean that all matters have been resolved. Ah. Right you are, my love. So long as darkness lurks in the depths of Hyrule, this peace we have fought so hard for could vanish like a bubble on a needle. We should not allow that. It is now time for the Zora to help Link prevail. Everyone, I ask that you lend him your strength. Doing just that shall be the first task that I and my partner in life and in leadership shall undertake as your king and queen. It seems like everyone agrees. First things first, my friend, regarding the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. When I obtained the secret stone, we saw a vision of that woman, the Sage of Time. I am certain it was far more than a passing resemblance. That was the Princess Zelda whom you and I know so well. As for the Princess Zelda who appeared in the domain and attacked my father, could it be that the princess we saw in my ancestor's era and the one my father saw in this era are not one and the same? Hmm. Questions upon questions. It is painfully clear that we have no choice but to find the princess and ask her directly. Link, as I have just ascended the throne, I must offer my sincerest apologies for being unable to accompany you. Still, I shall continue gathering information about our lost Princess Zelda. Please promise that you shall once again grace our fair Zoro's domain with your presence sooner rather than later. <laughs> Whatever comes to pass, know that you and I will always be connected by the power of a sage, no less. All right, well, I'm glad to hear. So with that, we get the Vow of Sidon, Sage of Water. Proof of the Vow of Sidon, Sage of Water. Use it to summon or dismiss the avatar of Sidon. Wow. So quite the story there for sure. Sidon of the Zora complete. So we have a lot to look into here. As you can see, um, first I want to read through whatever happened with Sidon of the Zora, just whatever might be left over. Uh, with the defeat of the fiend responsible for the sludge, the trouble afflicting the region was resolved. At the same time, 
Sidon awakened as a sage. He promised to rally the Dominion to assist you, declaring that it is now Zora's turn to help their hero. Awesome. And then we also had an update with regional phenomena. Per suggested investigating the major phenomena in various regions as a next step in the princess search for Princess Zelda. There's only one more region that is suffering under a strange phenomenon. So that is what we'll be heading to next, or at least getting started with, is making our way over to the Gerudo Village and helping them out a little bit. But with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.